Welcome to Link Paris 2023. My name is Patrick Nicholson from Beaumont Hospital in Dublin in Ireland. And to, today I have the great pleasure of having a conversation with Monica Killer from Salzburg. Um, and earlier on, Monica, thank you for joining us. We heard about contour and you gave a very nice contour presentation. Um, can you speak a little bit, you have a lot of experience with contour. Can you speak a little bit as to the technical nuances of contour and why do you think, what makes it in your opinion such a good device? I think it's a very easy to use device uh, and that is what we appreciate in intervention. It should be quick, easy and effective. And uh, the contour addresses all these things. Um, you can position it at the neck. You only cover the neck of the aneurysm. You don't uh, take care on the rest of the um, aneurysm shape. And I think this is very important because the device should uh, be focused on the neck and to occlusion of the neck, like we would treat the aneurysm with a stent. And uh, here, the, the real advantage is that we don't need uh, antiplatelet therapy for long term, maybe just during the procedure or to up to the next day. We stop it usually the next day and uh, I think these are advantages in comparison to stents when people are not able to get uh, dual antiplatelet therapy or um, uh, yeah in the future even because it's much quicker in the time frame of uh, the procedure uh, instead of coils or any other devices. Interesting yeah. so you have a lot of experience teaching others of course how to use the contour if others are used to, for example, other endosacular devices, what do you think are the, you kind of mentioned one, are there any other technical nuances we should be aware of in how to deploy the contour? Or if somebody is coming with a lot of experience with, for example, a web or something, what do you teach them about the differences in deployment? Because this for me is a, a mental leap. I think the most important is what we learned over the uh, first cases that we did to position it correctly. And correctly means here that we position it lower in the parent vessel as we would expect from the web, for example. We learned that uh, we should not compromise the parent artery in the web because the shoulder might occlude uh, a parent vessel. With the contour, as uh, due to the shape, this shouldn't occur and cannot occur, to be honest. And when you look on a 3D reconstruction, you see that the marker is in the parent vessel, but there is enough space for the blood to flow away. And uh, when uh, you know that and when you realize that, you would see in the image, you say, oh, it's too far, too low in the parent vessel. Then it's correct. When it's nice looking and good looking, it's okay, it might occlude, but it has a chance to recanalize. And I think this is the most important part to learn in the first cases, when you get confidence with that and see in the 3D that it's really like that, that there is enough space in the parent artery left, then uh, you're done and you have good results in the long term. Interesting. And I've seen you present previously very large aneurysms that are very well treated with contour. I haven't seen you jail a microcatheter, for example, in cases that you've shown. Um, have you ever jailed or do you do this technique? I've seen others present on it. And can you speak as to the necessity of jailing and deploying some coils behind the contour? Yeah, you can do that. It's very easy. Um, I would say uh, up to 10 millimeters, you don't need it. From mm -hmm. 10 millimeter aneurysm, I would say you don't need it. 10 millimeter aneurysm size? Yes, aneurysm size. Because the largest uh, contour is 14 millimeters and this fits perfectly for a 10 millimeter aneurysm. Yeah? Um, if the neck is larger and the aneurysm is larger, it uh, helps to stabilize uh, the contour at the neck. Uh, for example, I have one aneurysm, a huge basilar, it is 12 millimeters, and I thought, oh, the 14 should fit. Mm. Yeah? It fitted perfectly. I had a wonderful result, but uh, then over the long term, it's not designed for 12 millimeters. Yeah? Um, as due to the effect, effect that the flow is so uh, heavy at the basilar tip the contour flow into the aneurysm. When I would have put two coils inside, just to stabilize it at the neck, it would have been a perfect result. So what I have learned over the time is you stabilize it in the larger aneurysms. You even can treat a 15 millimeter aneurysm with some coils, yeah? Mm. In addition, and you don't need to completely coil the aneurysm. Chailing is easy. And once you're there, you detach the contour after coiling. Yeah? You don't need to coil completely. Mm -hmm. Some uh, started doing that in uh, ruptured aneurysms, uh, doing uh, coils in addition to be sure that there is not an inflow anymore. But now, as we know, position it correctly in the neck. You don't even need that in the smaller ones, but in the larger ones, uh, I still would recommend maybe putting a few coils. Nice, so it's possible, but not always necessary. No. Good. You mentioned follow-up. With all novel devices, or relatively novel devices, I'm always interested to see how people are following them up. In your practice, what is the best modality for following up aneurysms treated with a contour, and how long do you follow them up for? 
So I follow them the day after the procedure, one month, three months, six months, and one year. Wow. Okay. And at one, uh, and with Dynacity, yes, yeah, so the patient comes in, we put him into the engine with IV Dynacity. It's perfect. You nicely see if there is a still a remnant. Mm -hmm. And usually at one year, as we do with all aneurysms, clipped, coiled, uh, <laughs> stented, or whatever, we do a control angiogram usually. Okay, one last question. Where do you see contour going in the future? We know the current indications for it, but where do you see, you have a lot of experience with this device. Where do you see it going in the future in terms of aneurysm treatment? I think you will be able to use it also for sidewalls, which is very nice, I think. Uh, and uh, especially in patients who are not um, able for dual antiplatelets. I think you, you can treat almost all aneurysms with it. I wouldn't say all because it's not, never true. But um, the, the surface modification and the coatings also can be applied on the contour in mm. addition. Yeah. So maybe don't, we don't even need to pre-treat the patient finally. Yeah. yeah I that exciting. would be exciting. Well, it is an exciting device, so thank you very much for joining us and thank you. Mm -hmm.